Okay, so we are almost at the pond right now, and I'm probably going to start off with a topwater frog and see if I can get any blow-ups on that. First cast. Oh, was that the gar? Guys, you see that right there? Can you guys see this? Holy crap! Was that on film? Guys, a huge gar just freaking destroyed my frog. That's first cast, guys. That gar just freaking destroyed it. Oh, there's no way I could have hooked him. It would have broke me off, but... Well, I think I had a strike from a bass and a gar. Two casts in a row, so... Oh my gosh! Guys, three casts in a row. I've had three blow-ups in a row, three casts! One was from the gar! <laughs> you guys can see Jason's here, too. Nice. Good job waiting. Jason's got one on. Keep pressure, keep pressure. Get him. You got the gar? Oh, dude, nice. That's a nice bass. On the popper? Yep. How he ate that. Swiped right at it. Oh, dude, you could get your hand hooked at that. Dude, that's on a when I release it. First topwater bass of the day. Oh wow, you just killed him. Stopwater bass, get a release. Or you can release it. Either way works. Use a buzz bait out here. It'd be pretty fun. Buzz bait's like the lure that like not many people have, but right. <laughs> that was like the smallest blow up ever, and the hardest hook set ever. That frog just went flying. I need. That's on camera. Oh, don't come off. Don't go into the weeds. Don't go in the weeds. Go in the weeds. Dude, that's bigger than I thought. No, no, no! Oh, he came off. He came off. It was, it was a good one. He went in the weeds. Yeah, probably too. Well, what you guys just missed is we found a spot that had like four or five bass. Switched to a Senko because can't get bites on anything else. Senko is the best option, in my opinion. And I saw this guy eat it. So this one right here. There's a bunch of other guys, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna cast back out there. Match the hatch. Jason, what's this right here? Oh my. That. Oh darn. Oh darn. Wow. 
What do you fish have against me? What did I do to you guys? No way, dude. I think that's the gar. The fish I caught yesterday had like a big, like three big cuts on it. That's gotta be the gar. Okay, so we only got one fish at that last spot right there. So now we're heading over to this little tiny creek system. And probably going to see if we can get any micro fish. But the only rod I, bought, I brought was like my bait cast, which has like 30 pound braid. So not really sure I'm going to do this, but let's give it a shot. So here is... Spot. It's probably going to be too shallow. Too shallow to fish. There are a ton of bluegill. Hold on. I don't know if you guys can see this. But there's a baby bass. And about a million bluegill. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to catch these. They're a little small. Oh, there's a ton of bluegill here. I'm going to go ahead and check the other side, see if there's any bigger bass. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, as you saw, I missed a ton of fish on top water, but eventually managed to get one on a Senko while Jason was over there destroying me. Just catching tons of fish on top water and crankbaits and stuff. Like, I just had a terrible day today. But once again, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.